Hey, it's Whitney Peak, and I'm gonna be running you guys through my morning routine. So we're gonna do some hair, some skincare, and a makeup look. For bed, I usually wear my hair in a scarf, but I'm just gonna take it out and I would wash my hair and then I'll come back when it's wet. All right, this is what we're working with. Now it's kind of, it's still pretty wet. First thing I'm gonna use is this curl defining. Ooh, this is like my YouTuber dreams right now. I'm just gonna put, okay, like that much. Next, I use this pattern oil hair serum. I'm out of it, like I have to like press it against my body to spray it in. Okay, there we go. And I do the same thing and just run it all over. My hair's been through a lot, so. This is the Closer um, Instant Repair Cream. I have really bad split ends. I just kind of scrunch it into my hair. The next thing I'm using is this Moisture and Shine Cream. I'm actually in love with this one. This one's really, really dope. My siblings have different um, texture hair than I do. And so I've never really had or you know been well-educated on products that are good for my hair. So I've just been kind of trying whatever drugstore products I can find. My hair was really long and wavy, but now it's like, I actually have a curl pattern, which is so exciting. I thought straightening it was the easiest way to deal with it. And so throughout my entire middle school to like middle of high school career, I would straighten my hair every single day. So that played in the damage that I'm currently recovering from. This is a curl core again, but it, this is the Enhance and Gel. It defines or curls only a little bit. It does wonders for your hair. Now that I have all that product in there, I'm just gonna brush it out with this Denman brush, which I also didn't know about until like a year ago. I'm the only mixed one in my family, so I guess that's where my um, pattern comes from. But yeah, my mom has had a lot to do with my my hair. It's kind of always a thing. I used to cry when she would like braid my hair because she was like very very hard handed with the with the scalp. Okay, so here's what I was gonna show you, is that for when your hair is drying, because I don't really, I don't like to use heat on my hair when I don't have to, so that it doesn't dry flat, you have to like kind of brush it off of your scalp. While I do my skincare, I'm just gonna keep my hair out of my face. First thing I use, I wash my face. I use this used to the people cleanser. This is a reusable pad, okay? This is what I use to wash my face. Whenever I wash my face with my hands, it doesn't feel like I'm getting a good clean, but then when I wash it with a towel, it feels too rough. So I feel like this is the perfect kind of in-between. I didn't always used to wash my face, and if I did, it was with really, really harsh <laughs> products because I didn't really know any better. But my mom has fantastic skin and is very adamant about her skincare routine. I kind of took after her and started washing my face. And also when I started getting breakouts, I was kind of like, okay, Whitney, get on it. Cause this isn't cute. This is actually the best face mask ever. This is the Tracy Martin Enzyme Exfoliant. Look how pretty it is. So I did a tape for the show in like at some point in 2019. And then I went to Uganda because my sister got married. And then when I came back in late January or early February, I think, I got the phone call from my manager. And then he told me that I was on gossip, like that I had booked the job. And I was like, this is absurd. This is crazy. You trip in the St. Peru. And I hope you guys love it. Somebody told me, or I read it somewhere, that products are better absorbed by your skin when it's still like damp, wet. So I'm just gonna go right into it and put my toner on. Tracy Martin. And then I'm just gonna sit here for a minute. I was actually born in Uganda. Um, I lived there until I was about nine or 10. And then I moved to Canada. It's an insane change. It's like going from zero to 100 immediately. Most of my years in Uganda, well, since I was born until I was nine, I wasn't really worried about what my skin was doing. My more formative years I have spent in North America dealing with 
the changes in weather and learning about skincare and stuff like that. But it is also time to put on my next product, which is, boom, hyaluronic acid. My face is still damp right now. I know y'all can see it, but it is. I just put like a drop. Oh, don't forget about the neck, y'all. Gonna get in there. This is nice and my. I just use like the tiniest bit of this because I only use it on the bottom part of my face because that's where I kind of have more discoloration. I let this completely dry. My face is still like a little bit moist right now, but I just let it sit dry. Like I watch people's videos and I'm like, oh, their skin looks kind of similar to mine. So I'll try whatever they're trying and see if it works for me. And if it doesn't, then oh well. I just find a lot of my sources i feel like youtube and tiktok there's there's like a whole skincare world of tiktok and once you get in it it's deep last to final step is this face oil shout out sunbum spf 50 50 generous amount of that it doesn't leave a white cast on my face and um it just feels moisturizing as opposed to like heavy and dense. And, look, it's just a lot lighter than most sunscreens that I've tried. I never really used to put sunscreen on my face. I used to just steal my sister's whatever she had whenever I was going to the beach. That's like pretty much a final step. And then I just throw on some chapstick. It's okay with Chanel because she's fire. And that's skincare done. I'm just gonna preface this by saying I'm not good at it. And I just kind of do whatever I feel like my face needs. First step is foundation. These are kind of like in the winter I'm this shade, but deep, deep in the summer I'm this shade. So I'm gonna just mix them. Maybe like a pump of this and a pump of this. Sometimes I have trouble finding the right shade for my skin, but my entire face, I just cover with that. And then because I have like a darker forehead, so I just take the, like a little bit darker one and then I just cover that up because sometimes it turns out to be, it like looks gray. When I came to Canada, it was weird because I was received as like a POC, a dark skin person of color. Going back to Uganda, I'm seen as like white. So it, it was just weird seeing the kind of contrast in the two different worlds that I guess I was a part of. But yeah, being mixed was definitely a little bit weird because I'm the only person in my family who's mixed, so I didn't really have anybody to take tips from. But my family did a great job of like, I never felt like an outsider, so it's always, you know, it's been A1, it's been great days. Next up is concealer. What is matching today? Okay, so this is like perfectly on point, but this is lighter, so I'm gonna use this under my eyes. Because I have makeup on, like I have a lot of makeup on during the week, my skin starts to break out and then you have to put more makeup on to cover up the breakout so you look the same as you did in the last shot. It's kind of just this never ending spiral. So whenever I don't have to put makeup on, I, I tend to opt for that option. Next, I'm gonna do some brows. I'm actually so thankful that my mom had good eyebrows because I inherited them and everybody always tells me that. And not, I, I never understood it, but you know, I'm kind of learning now. I've had this honestly thing for like ever because I don't use much. And then I have this little spooly tang. And then take it very lightly. Every single job that I've done, everybody's always told me not to touch them. And also my mom told me not to touch them. She, she'll just be like, can I just give her a little tweeze? And I'll be like, no, don't touch my brows. This is a Chanel eyebrow uh, gel, but it's really fire. This is my milk makeup stick. Roll it up and then just go, go up and fall. Let's just take a moment for this blush right now. Y'all see that? I'm gonna be using this. I think it's a, like a lip, but I use it as a as an eyeshadow. Zoya is the character that I play on Gossip Girl, and she is a pretty simple girl. So while 
Zoe's makeup is still pretty innocent and simple. She still looks really fly all the time. Okay, I'm gonna use this highlighter next. I'm pretty much almost done. I'm just gonna do a little bit of an eyeliner, but we're using this again and this little brush. I mean, sometimes you just gotta, gotta multi-use stuff, you know, you gotta find stuff that's functional. I buy an eyeliner when you got this. I'm gonna be curling my eyelashes. I already have pretty naturally curly eyelashes, but you know, sometimes it's an easy that month. This is my favorite mascara ever. This is Kush Mascara by Milk. Look at, look at that. But, ooh, makeup tips that I learned from the girls on set. I feel like Zion's really good at doing her makeup. I feel like if I was to take tips from anybody, oh, Savannah is also really good. I feel like Z, or it's a competition between Savannah and Zion. Like I feel like it's pretty even there. Because obviously I'm, I'm like I'm 18, so, and everybody's older than me, so I feel like I learn a lot from them. Collectively, we have a wide range of music that we listen to and movies that we watch. So we're always recommending stuff to each other and just like learning and taking from whatever's being played around us. I feel like that's the thing that always comes up in, in talking about diversity on a show. I feel like it's definitely, obviously way diverse compared to the original but it's definitely not the pinnacle of diversity in entertainment, as in we still have a long way to go. Ooh, I think I might touch up my brows a little bit, y'all. I'm using this Glossier Lipstick. This is the color cake. And then the look is complete, complete, and not to cement it. The Chanel Hydra Beauty Essence Mist. And now you just gotta let that sit. You gotta let it sit, let it dry. We're gonna take the ears off. Now that the makeup's done, we're about to step out. Thank you for sticking this out with me. Um, this is the final look. Thank you for watching, and until next time. XOXO.